welcome episode 291 of Stogie Geeks for the show notes and sticks of the week. You go to stogiegeeks.com forward slash 291. Comparing sticks and sharing sticks and ideas with me is Dan Davison, sales manager for Queensbury Cigar and Pipe. You can visit them at cupofjoes.com. And uh, over the past Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's, uh, I've, I've taken some time out to, to kind of refresh my palate with, with some stuff. Uh, I will tell you that my sticks of the week moving forward are going to be uh, pretty much uh, some, some, some interesting stuff. Uh, there. I've actually gone out on a limb to, to expand my palate and give you my, my, my thoughts. And I found a couple of hidden gems for sure. So, uh, Dan, with that being said, what have you been smoking? Well, I, I've been smoking, like I said, I'm a creature of habit, so I smoke a lot of the same stuff, but uh, this is some of the stuff I've been smoking in the last month or so. So starting off, uh, the Perdomo 20th Anniversary Connecticut um, has been in my rotation very heavy. Um, it's a great cigar, Nicaraguan. You know, when you think Connecticut wrapper, you might think it's going to be mild, but this cigar, I would say, is medium at a minimum. Um, great construction, awesome flavor. You know, everything Perdomo does is uh, bourbon barrel-aged. So you have that little bit of uh, that sweetness in there, but just a really smooth, consistent smoke. Um, if you want something, you know, that's a little bit lighter than if you're, you know, smoking full body all the time, but it's not going to be a huge step down. I would definitely recommend that cigar. You know, I would definitely give that uh, a box worthy for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, great smoke. Yeah. Yeah. That's the 20th anniversary. The 20th anniversary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I've noticed too, you, you, you brought up a good point, right? With, with the Connecticut's. If you if you're new to cigars and you're like Connecticut, you're taught well Connecticut is equals mild, right? And if you're sure. and if you're not new to cigars, Connecticut equals mild. And what I've noticed that in some of the Connecticut, um, you know th- that you know you're, you're combining it with with some of that Nicaraguan filler, you get some true mediums in there for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's. Connecticut is not always what it seems to be for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's there's a ton of cigars on the market that are Connecticut wrapper that are, are definitely not super mild. You know, you look at Undercrown Shade, Christoph Connecticut. Um, those come to mind right away, uh, along with the Perdomo. Most of the Perdomo Connecticut, same thing. You mm-hmm. know, um, but the Perdomo 20th to me is just – it's a great price, um, and it's a great smoke for the money. Um, absolutely. Definitely, definitely check it out if you haven't. Yeah. Don't fall off your chair, but I've been digging Christoph Connecticut's in the morning. I don't know. I don't know if my palate's changing, right? I don't know if my palate's changing or, you know, I got lack of sleep because I'm a new dad. I don't know what's going on, right? I'm like, man, this Connecticut's good. I can't believe, like, I haven't, you know, like, I've known of it for years, you know? But, yeah. The Corona Christoph Connecticut's a great way to start off a day. That's a good good size, too. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I had the La Barba Purple. I had it. um, It's by Caldwell. Uh, it was a Robusto. It's a 5 by 50 Your wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano. You have Dominican Corojo binder, and you have <clears throat> a Dominican Corojo filler. It's in regular production for, uh, for them. Uh, it's available in 12 count boxes. The size is Robusto, Corona Gorda, Toro, Magnum, and Lancero. I've had the Robusto, uh, Corona Gorda, and Toro. Um, I, I probably wouldn't go towards the Magnum, the, the six by 60, but I can't find any Caldwell, um, La Baba purples, uh, Lanceros anywhere, um, locally. So, uh, I have to do a little, a little hunt, hunting and pecking for that. In regards to that, uh, it starts off with natural, uh, tobacco. You get some sweetness, I get some wood and some cedar to me, the retro hail you pick up the black pepper, right? So to me, with this cigar, uh, especially toward, towards the end, um, you get a natural tobacco sweetness that comes up. But to me, to really get the nuances of the cigar, it's all about the retrohale. Um, I think that's a theme for today's smokes anyway, but, but moving forward, uh, I get a subtle flavor that when I pick it up there, um, and to me, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's true medium in body, but the subtle flavor is that natural tobacco sweetness. Um, And then, so if you're just kind of drawing it, you know, you you get a sweetness. And then you really don't pick up the pepper, in my opinion, until you retrohale it. That being said, 
I gave it a box split. I mean, you know, they're, they're available in twelve count boxes, so you know, I, I, I would, I would definitely burn, b- burn through half a box of these. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. You ever have that one? that one? You haven't tried that one? I, yeah. I've smoked a lot of Caldwell stuff, but I haven't had that one. But uh, mm-hmm. after after you hear me talk about it, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, there's a couple of shops in in Rhode Island that do pretty well with Caldwell. So sure. you know, yeah. uh, you know, and 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 then you know, so they start adding some some more of their lines. It's actually, I mean, it's actually that in in the King series. Uh, you know, the the uh, Long Live the King are kind of like my my two. Yeah. You know, I, I, I like to, those. You know, I used to be very, very popular at Queen's Bear Scar and Pipe um, uh-huh. when it first came out. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So the, uh, I get, I give that a, ba- a box split. Uh, for those of you listening to me ramble on on audio, that was the La Baba Purple. Awesome. What'd you do? What'd you do? Why do you, you want me to go? Uh, yeah, ready for me? You can go next. You can go next. All right. Is that so, a Mike Tyson's uh, punch out thing, thing in the background? What's that? Is that a Mike Tyson's punch out thing in the background? Yeah, yeah, it is. That's awesome. <laughs> that's that's yeah. awesome. I, I almost bought that, got that for for you local listeners. That was uh, at uh, the I got that at the Warwick Mall as like impulse buy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I almost you know, bought that T shirt. You leave Nordstrom Rack. There's that that autograph store right there. You know, next thing you know, you got a Mike Tyson punch out autograph. Photo. There, so there you go. go. No more Nordstrom today. Five o'clock. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a conversation for after the show. Yeah, it's but, another show. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, no. It's, uh, that, there's a lot there we can talk about. You want to have a Providence Place Mall co- uh, podcast? No, no, we do not. I know we're, we're gonna continue. Okay. We're gonna continue on topic with Story Geeks. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. So the next thing I smoked uh, was the Davidoff Winston Churchill, um, the original one. I, I was on a late hour kick for a long time from when it came out last year, almost to midway through this year. But I started to go back, um, started in, in it's, it's kind of the theme of my my stogies of the week is it kind of I brought my palate down a little bit uh, lighter. And the Winston Churchill is just such an awesome, true medium bodied cigar. Um, it's I think it's one of the best cigars Davidoff makes. It's very consistent. Um, I personally prefer either the Robusto or the Churchill. I think they're rolled just the perfect amount of tightness for me um, with draw. But if uh, you're looking for something a little bit different, maybe maybe you haven't uh, tried Davidoff in a while, uh, I would definitely recommend that. It's it's a good price. I mean, they start around sixteen dollars. You know, it's not one of those Davidoffs. It's all everything's twenty plus. Sure. Um, but it's a, it's a really good, consistent cigar, and you will not be disappointed for sure. That's And I would say, you know what? I'm going to give it a fiver only because it comes in four packs, and it's a little bit more affordable yeah. to get that as opposed to a $400 box. Yeah. So I would say fiver just because of the cost. Yep. But See, the, the cigar is definitely a box worthy. Yeah. I think you you you, you rate that real. I mean, it, it, I mean anything Davidoff, I mean, I – Definitely skew towards the box worthy for sure. I've yet to have a, eh, you know what I mean? Like, you know, exactly. you know, you know yeah. there, there, there are a lot of things that I smoke and I'm like, eh, you know, but that, you know, but I think you set in the expectations for the listeners. I think that that's pretty awesome. Giving it a five or two yeah. because, you know, it, it's like, you know, you, you, you can't, you can't go around recommending sticks and, you know, it's a cop payment for sure. If you go to box worthy, yeah. but they are exactly. freaking awesome. They are like you know what I mean. You, if you get yourself four hundred dollars in scratch, and, and and you owe yourself, you want to treat yourself to, to a damn good box yeah. of cigars. Yeah, you know, if you, if, you, <laughs> if you can get the box, definitely get it. But honestly, you can get the five, the four. There are four packs. They start around you know fifty five, sixty dollars, depending on where you are in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely worth the investment for sure to get at least four of those to, in your humidor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came across the Comfortably Numb by Espinosa Volume 1. I'm assuming you know, na- like, n- no way, right? No. What? You're speaking, you're speaking Hebrew to me, my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. And, and, and the funny thing is, like, 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 like I'm, I'm, a fan, I'm a fan of the brand. And when I, when, yeah. I, when, when I walked into, like, when you go down south, right, Espinosa, like, is, like, available, like, like Dunkin' Donuts up here, right? Like, you know what I mean? Shit. Like, you friggin'. But when you when, yeah. when when you're hanging in Rhode Island, um, almost Connecticut line, right? And you're like, Espinosa, 
Holy cow! Right. You, you, whoa, whoa yeah. this changed everything. Let me put this back that I could get anywhere. And let me, let me, and, and so, and I was yeah. like, "Damn!" Like, you know what I mean? And I was like, "God, I missed this cigar!" Like, you know, I miss it. And I know you can get them online and whatnot. I, I, I like to. I don't say I like to hunt. I'm, I'm, I do shop online, but I do, yeah. I do, um, like to, you know, go to the shops and see what the different shops have still. You know what oh, I mean? It's part absolutely. of it's part of the joy of of having a cigar. Yeah. I think you know. We were just talking about Perdomo, right? Mm-hmm. There's one shop I know of that carries Perdomo in Rhode Island, mm. but up up here it's huge. You know what I mean? It's just there's so many things that I I won't normally see in humidors in upstate New York, and I go back to Rhode Island. I'm like, man, I haven't smoked this since I worked at the humidor. You know what I mean? Sure. There's so many cigars. It's just you know we've talked about it before it's a very weird regional thing where stuff gets hot and other places it's not but that's, that's not necessarily a, an indication that the cigar is good or bad right right like when i went down to to miami i'm like oh yeah i'm gonna ask but like i love them you know what i mean so uh anyway i had the comfortably numb by espinoza volume one interesting right i like the labeling you know Le- yeah. leaving a little bit of mystery there right the packaging on it, 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 it's got a cool label to it, you know. I'm a sucker for marketing as well. So, you know, it's, it's, got, uh, it's, it, it, it's got a cool label on it there. The size of the Toro, it's a 6x52. Got an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Corojo binder. Filler is Nicaraguan. This is why I think it's unique. It's got long fillers in it. There is a difference when you smoke long fillers versus short fillers uh, for sure. Uh, there, yeah. so I just wanted to make note of that. The size again was a Toro six by fifty two. It's a medium. It, it's a medium. It's I would kind of call it medium, barely full to my palate. Could be f- medium to full on 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 some some people who are just getting into cigars. But let me tell you something. You're gonna get notes of cedar, coffee, a little bit of earth, some sweetness, spice. Awesome, right? And it went right down to the nub. Right, and it's awesome. And actually, had a chance to pair that with dark rum, just some dark rum as is. I'm, I'm, you know, I like my Bloody Marys, but you know, uh, I I, again, when I went to the shop, oh, you got this rum? I'll try. You know, awesome. Had it with some dark rum. Awesome there. Can't beat the price. I mean, cannot beat the price of these cigars. So I gave it a box worthy. That was the Comfortably Numb by Espinosa, Volume One. Awesome. Sounds good. Mm. You, I'll, hey, I'm, I'll, I'll bring some up. All right. Or I'm up Perfect. or sideways. Up. I guess up. Up and sideways is where I drive it. Bring that and some uh, some Gantt tall boys too, you know. Oh. Then we have a real park. <laughs> Done deal. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So the, ne- the next cigar I smoked uh, was the Christoph Vengeance. Mm. Um, this cigar came out uh, a little bit earlier before the trade show. This year, it has a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, uh, an Indonesian binder, and Dominican uh, and Nicaraguan filler. Um, this is an awesome smoke. Uh, it's to- it's a I think it's the first time Christoph's used Connecticut broadleaf tobacco, and they they did an excellent job. Um, it's very smooth. I think a lot of times with the Christoph line, um, you get not necessarily that it's a bad thing, but you get the similar a uh, little bit of spice smooths out this cigar all the way through is very smooth um but it's very rich in flavor and if you haven't had the vengeance it, it's it's a great smoke I, I can't recommend it enough i would definitely say box worthy for the vengeance and it is certainly a box mover at Queensbury cigar and pipe and couple mm-hmm. actually the vengeance got me back to try the connecticut and you know what? The same thing happened uh, when when I was working for Christoph with the pissed off Christoph. Mm-hmm. You know, the two two new cigars really brought a lot of people back into the rest of the portfolio because they have a pretty deep portfolio, and there's a lot of cigars in there that are excellent. Um, and Connecticut is one of them. The Cameroon is one. San Andreas, but you know, the pissed off, and they're coming out with the new, extremely pissed off soon, which is uh, a big stick. Uh, but the vengeance, uh, it just brings people back into their line, and it's such a great cigar, and they, they did a great job. So congrats to Glenn and uh, Jared on that one. Mm-hmm. So they're coming out with the extremely pissed off Kristoff. Yeah. So I guess it's it's um, size wise, I believe it's an eight and a half by sixty. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can look on. Uh, I think Half Wheel had an article about it just to confirm if you if you're curious about that. But I believe it's going to be shipping 
very soon. I, I, they told me in maybe a couple weeks. Mm. So um, I'll post about it on, on the store site for sure once we get it in because Pissed Off is a very popular smoke. So uh, we'll see. But if you haven't tried the Christoph Ben, it's another one. I, I definitely got to say you got to try. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I, I had one and I was like, ooh, wow. Yeah. I'm digging this. And then, uh, like I said, I, I've been getting into the some, some of the other stuff. Also, a side Christoph note, I found myself – uh, three left in the box of Intensivos. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know how I used to be on those, right? I was like, dude, I love those things, right? Like, <laughs> oh, I haven't seen an Intensivo since my first week on the job in 2017 with them. <laughs> and I was I was with Jared, and we bought all of them from the store that we were in. Mm, wow. And uh, I believe there was actually a customer back in Rhode Island who was like a super fan. And... Uh, Man, I haven't seen one in so long, but that and we talk about this all the time. That's such a good cigar, right? Man. I'm like, and, and uh, apparently we were the only ones that liked it for them to keep it up. You hey, know, you I know, don't know. Every rose has its thorn, right? I, dude, I love that cigar. Like that, I was like, that was an awesome Funny. cigar. You know, yeah. that's crazy. Bring it back. Who knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a uh, Leon Jimenez Prestige. It was a Robusto. It's a five by fifty. Your wrapper's Connecticut. Your binder is Dominican and Nicaraguan. Your filler is Dominican. It's available in three different sizes: Corona, Robusto, and Churchill. Starts off with some minor, very mild cedar. Starts off really, really mild. Um, went the first kind of inch, you get a hint of spice on the retro hail. You start to pick up some leather, and then it just slows down into more mild. That's the only way I can describe nice. it. You know what I mean? Like it, it's just way, yeah. way too mild for my, for, for, for my palate. Um, and, and it, it's even beyond mild for, um, like, you know, when you have like a, a I'm showing my age here, maybe, uh, like a Romeo and Julieta, Cedro number five, how you like really mild. You're mild, like yeah. you know what I mean. It's yeah. like, yeah. it's like milder than that. It's just mild. Yeah. You know, it's tasty, but it's like you know, if if you are used to smoking like, anything like that, mild. Excuse me. Like a Griffin, back in the day, the old white. Oh, dude. the old I, I, man. Let me tell you something. We've been on a Griffin kick here at Security They're Weekly. Good. We've been on a Griffin kick here, Security Weekly. We got some Griffin Toros in. Um, um, I, I believe it was May of, la- of, of, of last year where uh, Paul had, had turned me on to – have you ever had the, the Griffin Nicaraguan Robusto? Yeah. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. Like that is an yeah. awesome stick. And, you know, and then I remember, I remember you know, uh, working at Security Weekly, Paul comes out as he does sometimes and says, dude – have you tried these? And I'd be like, what, 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 who, what? You know what I mean? Because it happens like by about three, four times a week. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's like, have you tried these? Like, no, I'm like, it's Griffin Robusto. I'm like, yeah, I've had Griffin. No, it's Nicaraguan. I was like, no. He's like, you got to try one. I was like, all right. And because he, he had them in his humidor, but I'm not going to lie, I'm going to pick through other stuff before I get to that, right? Right? <laughs> so, um, you know, he's like, you got to try one, you got to try one. Dude, I tried it and I literally went and bought them. A box, like, and and that, f- and, and and for me, you know my personality, you know me. Like for me, yeah. you know I'm digging that if I'm just buying a box. And, yeah, and, and you're and, usually and, you'll, you'll you'll pick through sticks and sticks and st- you'll you'll buy a box through single sticks. Yeah, yeah. you know different stuff. So you know what? And, and that was a great. It's I think it's it's I'm still sure it's still on the market. That to me was a cigar that you know, and we've said this before. It's a great cigar that didn't sell well, so it kind of got lost, mm-hmm. but. Man, that was a really good cigar. I yeah. haven't had one in a long time. I think I have some tucked away somewhere yeah. in uh, the bowels of the humidor somewhere, but they're good. And Stoey Geeks listeners, if you email me at joeh at stoeygeeks.com, I'll show you a place where you can get them, as we say here in Rhode Island, wicked cheap. <laughs> they're like wicked cheap. Like, it's crazy. He was like, I can't believe, you know, and <laughs> it's just one of those sticks that, you know, throughout the year that he's come out with and, and – and have said and, and and so um so but to answer your question with the griffin it's even milder than that it's just it's just wow. a mild it's just a mild stick you know what i mean and then when you look at the price point i'm like you know something if you want to really someone who's new to cigars I, like i thought about 
some of the Sto- the Stoey Geeks listeners and stuff like that, if they're new to cigars and whatnot, like that'd be a good new to try, like a new cigar yep. to try. There, the price Absolutely. point's not too bad. Construction's awesome. It's built well. It's good stick. It's just it's just too mild. So that being said, I gave it a fiver. I definitely would smoke five over the course of the year for sure. Um, nice. There, it's available in three different sizes. That was the uh, Leon Jimenez Prestige. You should have a couple yeah. more because I have a couple more. I have, I have two more. Awesome. Um, my next one is the Bandolero. We talked a little bit about this cigar oh, yeah, the yeah. last time I was on the show, and still well, talking it about it because last time you were on the show like, was February of 2018. So yeah. So I feel like, you know, I, I, I'm giving a lot of cigars the same reviews today, but uh, it's just because this is what I've been smoking lately with the holidays. I've been smoking a little bit nicer stuff. But Bandolero, man, it is an awesome cigar. Um, there's not a lot of information on the blend. A lot of this stuff is undisclosed, a little bit uh, on the DL. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even have the information. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it comes in a uh, have a bunch of different sizes. I believe they have eight different sizes. There's almost two different Blend tweaks a little bit different. Uh, I carry four at cupofjoes.com and Queensberry Scar and Pipe, but uh, I personally like the uh, Tremendos and the Silver Bios, a little bit smaller size. Um, but the Colosalis is definitely probably the most popular with us, it's a little bit fatter of a stick. But um, you talk about you want something that is medium to full, it's going to have rich flavor, and it's going to be for the most part under $15 in that you know 12, uh, 13 to $14 range. This is a home run stick. You know, if, you, if you're if you a fan of Atabay or Byron, like we were just talking about, mm. but you don't want to pay $30, $38 a cigar, right. Bandolero is definitely an option in your wheelhouse you should try. Definitely box worthy. Um, definitely, you know, if a box split if you don't want to do the cash, but definitely go out of your way and find these. Uh, we, we have them available, like I said, on the site. Um, and you can find them in a few retailers in the Northeast, or I, I know uh, they're really growing. Yeah. You're going to see more. As as this year goes on, uh, until they uh, they're starting to cut people off from distribution on some of the United uh, those those high end brands, but uh, it's an excellent cigar, definitely worth try trying. Box worthy all day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm definitely a fan of the Atabay and 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 the Byron as well. They're just awesome sticks, you know. And Atabay yeah. Atabay is just such a refresher for the palate. Uh, it's just so yep. different. So. If if you're listening to this podcast or watching this podcast and you haven't had the opportunity to even come across that and you're like, what what is that cigar? Whatever, just flash me an email. I can point you in the right direction uh, over there as well. But yeah, it's awesome, awesome stick. Um, I had the uh, Blackwork Studio Sindustry, and I was a fan of the brand going into last year. Fan, fan of the brand this year kind of digging some of the stuff that they've come out with uh in uh, t- uh 2018 um there i think they 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 they're very popular again you know uh, not to just keep beating a dead horse they're popular in some shops and not in others but they're really yeah. really popular next door over at the Havana club um there yeah. and 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 they and they do very well with them the size i had was a toro and i also had a robusto uh there um, the size of the Toro is a six and one fourth by forty eight. Your wrapper is a Mexican San Andreas Maduro, uh, Nicaraguan Habano binder, Nicaraguan filler. It's available in three different sizes: uh, Lancero, Toro, and Robusto. Uh, production is pretty limited with this stuff. Um, there, I know that some some retail shops like that methodology, and some don't. Right. Um, that's another discussion for another time, because yeah, we'll you know, about- <laughs> sometimes sometimes it cre- it creates a sense of urgency in some shops where they uh, wow it's only five hundred boxes let me get mine now. Um, then when they're gone they're gone. Um, not accusing this company of anything, but sometimes when they're gone they're gone, and four months later and they go in quick they come back to life somehow. Oh, we got, we got these. Again, another show for another time. Probably my last episode of Story Geeks if I continue talking about that. Right? Uh, however, moving on uh, there, the production is, is, is limited. Uh, I got some earth, uh, a, a ton of pepper uh, component. What I'm digging with some of the black label stuff is that they, they, they have a real salty component. I mean, P 
pairing Bloody Mary 101 right here. Like, you know, I've had some listeners say, you know, you, you pair a lot of stuff with Bloody Marys. Well, I like Bloody Marys, right? But, you know, like, it's a salty component. It's awesome. I like it. Speaks to my palate. Um, you do get more of a Maduro sweetness on the draw of this particular cigar than some of their other offerings. So uh, I guess, you know, if, if, if you're getting into some of the Black Label stuff and whatnot, and some people, you know, I kind of hear arguments on, on a couple of sides, you know. Some of them always smoke the same, but this tend to me seem to have more of a Maduro sweetness component. And what I like about that is to me, as a company, they're showing some sort of an evolution through, through, through their process. And I'm hoping that that's going to be uh, of things to come. I gave it a box worthy. I mean, I, I usually don't give a lot of box worthy stuff uh, there, but uh, you know, I've burned through a box of of these for sure. Um, you know, a, a mutual friend of ours, Ian, and you know how once he finds a stick, he stays on it till like that shop no longer offers it, and it could be six to eight yeah. months. He's still on them. Like he's been on them yeah. since like. And I'm like, dude. That Arturo Fluente in Yeho came out. Like, do you want to try that this year? It's limited. Oh, I'll get that next time. I'm going to get this. I'm like, really, dude? Like, you've been smoking this industry for like three weeks straight. You know what I mean? But, you know, so again, it's just a testament. That, you know, I'm sure you have customers who are like that, too. That's why I like to make the reference, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, know, you could recommend you know, anything and they're going to smoke what they want. And that's, and there's, and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's, you know, when you, when you find something you like, stay with it, you know, especially if it's something like you said, you know, where it's a lot of times it's limited and you're going to be hard to find for a while, you know, enjoy it. Yeah. Um, but I know that company's had a lot of buzz in the last uh, few years. So I'm excited to see where they go going in the future. Yeah. I, I think honestly, they're, they're showing uh, development. You know what I mean? Like when you talk about like, I don't know, if you look at it outside of the cigar industry, you talk about product development, right? Their blends are getting um, more unique as opposed to each blend being with its unique profile. Now, I know if we had, you know, if we had the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, James Brown here, I'd be like, well, they're all unique. I get it. But I, I, we hear the word on the street as consumers. You hear the word on the street as a retail, right? That's why I love having the, the diversity of guests here where we can have a retail conversation, talk about consumer behavior, and then we can have a roller conversation and talk about retail behavior, right? Sure. And, and, and stuff like that. But to me, I think that they're showing a lot more uh, development. And like I said, if, 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 you, if you haven't refreshed yourself with this uh, brand because you, you thought some of their original stuff was in that same profile, See if you pick up that yeah. Maduro sweetness. I think they did a phenomenal job with with the balance of that. Yeah, uh, it sounds great. You know, like I said, it's the the buzz around uh, their brand over the last few years has definitely been strong. You see a lot of it on social media. I see a lot of it from retailers I follow, customers, everything. You know, I know a lot of guys have tried those blends and curious to see what happens with them in the future. Have you tried that? Yeah, I don't know. No, I haven't tried. I haven't no. tried any. They used to make black label right back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So That's what I was talking about. Like, like, like. You know, when, when the black label came out and whatnot, they, they, it, yeah. some of the feedback on the streets, and, and I'm not saying that this is Story Geeks feedback or anything like that. Some of the feedback was that it's just different sizes and different things. It's not really yeah. there. And you know, yeah. uh, uh, to an amateur palate. Uh, or or to someone who doesn't like stick to that brand, but I've been one of those. I've been one of the. They're in my. They're definitely in my top five of my tenure here at Stogie Geeks. I usually can't. Uh, oh, here it goes. I usually can't get uh, away without saying Tatuaje or Viaje each episode. So I just did, <laughs> right? But 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 like 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 they're in my top five of rotational companies. You know, for sure. For yeah. sure. You know, it's, I haven't seen them since back in the day when they did the black label stuff. And mm -hmm. personally at the time it wasn't, wasn't my, wasn't my thing, but I, I've seen them evolve in terms of just, I mean, not just their packaging, but the, it, it seems the quality of the cigars um, in terms of just the, the different complexities and stuff has gone way up. Um, I'm curious to see what happens with them. Like I said, you know, it's, 
they seem to be uh, a hot topic right now. So mm-hmm. let's see what happens to them in 2019. You know, yeah. talk about brands coming in the future. Yeah, they, they were my number one company to watch last year uh, when at the end of 2017 – on Story Geeks, uh, we we had we had given like a top five of companies to watch, and they they were my number one yeah. company to watch for for 2018. And and it looks like they've they've started to go through that path. So that's pretty cool. So the next time I come up, I'm gonna have to bring everything that I I had spoken about because because you, you haven't had them. So uh, at least yeah. I, at least I know what to bring along with some Narragansett beers. Beers. There you go. Hey man, take, mm. you can take, take the kid out of Warwick, but you know yeah, can't take Warwick uh, so, out of the kid. You go, <laughs> you got one more, and I got one more. Awesome. Yeah. So the last, the last cigar I have, we're talking about classic facings, man. Uh, Monte Cristo White Series. Um, you know, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, uh, mild to medium cigar, true mild to medium, not medium, just right in that middle ground. Um, you know, you talk about brands. We talk about big brands today, and you know, a lot of people would consider Monte Cristo to be the Coca-Cola of cigars. You know, if you don't know anything about cigars, you know Monte Cristo. And this cigar is very consistent. It's the number one selling cigar in our store. I'm sure it's the number one selling cigar in many stores across the country. Yes. Uh, but it's just a great, it, it's just a great consistent smoke. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, that's why it's so successful. And that's why I enjoy it myself. I like the Rothschild size. I also like the Churchill I'm going to give this a box split because for two reasons. One, because, you know, it's a great cigar to share with people, especially if you're going to like a wedding or you're going to somewhere where someone doesn't normally smoke. It's something that anyone can really enjoy for themselves. And what's cool is, you know, online at Cup of Joe's and at Queensberry Cigar and Pipe, we sell 10 count boxes of the Churchill size. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, it cuts down that cost because normally a box is 27 count. So you can get 10 sticks for around $110. Um, it's a great deal. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's a great consistent smoke. Definitely a box split just because of the, the box counts a little higher than normal box counts. And it's just a great cigar to share with, uh, your non smoking friends. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Monte Cristo, do you know what I came across? Uh, this is why, uh, it was around black Friday, right? Cause so black Friday came, my goal for this year was to not wait till Christmas Eve to start Christmas shopping. Um, I failed at that. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, right? I, 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 I failed. And it's funny because, you know, I got the speech, you know, you're a dad. You got to be more organized. Dude, the Black Friday came along. I started shopping, right? Right? I started shopping. I bought myself some new sneakers. Bought myself a, a, which way? a nice leather case for cigars. There you go. Finally, right? Yeah. right? I bought myself a couple of boxes of cigars. I bought myself a uh, bunch of stuff uh, there. People were getting upset because I was ordering stuff right before Christmas. I was going to ruin Christmas. I'm not going to shop till <laughs> last minute. I'm ruining Christmas. I'm a terrible guy. But this is why I don't shop Christmas because, like, dude, like, seriously, like, you, you can't. You, you, I, I, I go online because they throw everything at you. Right? Yeah, it's, they, tough. They, it's they, tough. They, they they throw everything at you and you're like, Oh damn, I'm gonna get that for me. And then there you oh, go. Yeah. So um Black Friday I, I I've bought a whole bunch of stuff. I mean I bought sweaters, jeans, like it was ridiculous, dude. Like m- more yeah. mechanic shirts to wear on Story Geeks. It was awesome. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> right. Um that being said, uh I bought a box of cigars. And you know what okay. I came across? Obviously, it's a Monte Cristo because we're, we're making a transition. The, sure. tra- the Monte Cristo Platinum. Nice. You remember those from Donna's? Nice. Remember, you remember those from hey. Donna? The, the, the Monte Cristo. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, they still have it? Like, wow. Like, holy cow, I, dude. They were in the I bargain saw- bin. They were in the bargain bin. Really? Yeah. See, I, I sell those pretty well. I sell I sell the Rothschild tube and the, the Churchill tubes and mm-hmm. those silver tubes. Yep. I saw those great. It, it, it's, uh, it's a little bit different of a blend than what you consider Monte Cristo to be. Yes. Like before they got like the Nicaraguan stuff, like they just came out with that now. You know, it's a little bit heavier than the other two. It's still lighter, but um, yeah, that's a that's an OG stick right there. Right. I was like, dude, and I'm like, oh, you're throwing this at me for a buck ninety nine. 
Are you kidding me? What? what? <laughs> I was like, dude. I was like, dude. I, I get. And if I use a coupon, it's free shipping. This is crazy, right? And, and then uh, you know, and I did that, and I bought two boxes of cigars, and and it was just bad. But that was my, yeah. that's my Monte Cristo transition. But yeah, and and let me tell you something. Nice. It, it was like you know when you smoke an OG stick, you're like. It's not what it used mm-hmm. to be. You're like when you first have it, because we're used to smoking wow. what we've been smoking new, and you're like, oh wow, like, yeah. sure. right? And then I, I kind of let them sit a little bit because they were shipping, they like, shipped in. Yeah. So then I let them sit, and dude, I let them sit for probably a week, and they were freaking awesome. They were just awesome yeah. sticks. Uh, I have a pack of those in my humidor, I think, right now. But they're, uh, yeah, especially for it's. It's a good old school stick, man. Yeah, old I rem- school. <laughs> I remember. Do Do you remember Pete Izzy? You remember Pete Izzy? No, he was pre. Think so. He was pre you, and he's like, I remember him describing the Monte Cristo platter to me, dude. It's got Parik in it. It's awesome. Like you know what I mean? Like he was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? and I'm like, dude, all right, like, cool. Like you know what I mean? Like, and, and it's so funny. You know how? Well, I this is how my brain works. I have like a little saying. Like every time I think of that, I think of him saying, dude, it's got Parik in it. It's awesome. Yeah, and, oh, and- <laughs> yeah, that, that's him right there. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Uh, my last stick I had, I I, I had these, and dude. 100% fan of these. Cannot find them anywhere locally. Right? It's the FSG Bellicoso by Drew Estate. Like, dude. Funny. Um, I, I, it's crazy, Funny. right? It, it's, it's like, all right, obviously it's Bellicoso size. Six and a half by 54. Brazilian Maltafina wrapper. Binder Honduran uh, Habano seed. Filler Nicaraguan with Florida Corojo. Grown right here in the U.S. of A. And, dude, Bloody Mary stick all day long. 100%. Like, like, I mean, this is like Bloody Mary cigar pairing 101. Yeah. This is like like the best kept secret. And, and, And I'm like, dude. So I go next door and I go here and I go there. Nobody has these sticks. Like, like, you know, and then you go online and they're sold out. They're sold out. You have them? Available. I have a lot of them, man. Uh, then we, I'm, I'm, I'm shopping for sure because I <laughs> know uh, I'm a fan of these things. Like I'm like, why? Yeah. Like what? Why? And and again, maybe it's a territorial thing. Maybe it has to do with some of the levels of some of the other shops that have to sell a certain thing. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not going to. I don't want to give too much inside baseball, but certain shops have a certain level of what they can offer and maybe the shops that I'm going to don't have that opportunity and whatnot. But it's yeah. like, dude, are you serious? Like, like it was awesome. Like it was so awesome that I called Drew sponsor of the show and be like, dude, seriously, like what's the deal with these sticks? Like, you know, and then they sent yeah. me a description and they sent me a sample pack, which got me, which, which got me some, something, you know, of course I had all the new media labels on it. You know what I mean? You have to, cause media, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's excellent. Excellent cigar, Joe. And the guys who – it is hard to find. Not it, it, Like you said, you know, there's a little inside baseball behind it. But it also um, – it's, li- it's a little bit more limited production, mm. you know, when it comes to that stuff. So that's – it's tough to get sometimes. But the guys who smoke those are so loyal to that brand. I mean, I'm, there's a guy – I'm sure he's watching the show today, Herf Dog, uh, Mike. Um, he loves those. Mm-hmm. And that's – you know, you talk about sticks that are box worthy. I pretty much – the guys who smoke those only buy them by the box because they're that good, and we don't have. They're not always in stock, mm-hmm. but uh, that's a home run stick for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I pff, I'll just read the last sentence I wrote without getting into the description because we just did it. It's a solid medium. Retro hail produces an additional layer of cedar. Tasty stick for sure. Dot dot dot. Pair it with the Bloody Mary explanation point. That's my description. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like that that is my full description there. I gave it a box worthy. You, you gave the rating be before I even said it. I I gave it a box worthy. I mean, it's just it's just awesome. You know what I mean? Like it's just and one of those six, you know, like we, we can put a review on it, Joe. But when you see you know, from my perspective, when I see it go out the door every time as a box, it has to be box worthy, right? Because yeah. that's what the people are saying with their wallets. Yeah. And you know and what's funny about uh the cigar, the last cigar you named, and the cigars I named, we put all those cigars in the top ten cigars of the year at Queensbury Cigar and Pipe. Mm-hmm. We do a top ten every year, and all of those cigars made it in. If you want to check that out, you can check out our Facebook and see all the the top cigars. Yeah, but um, 
you know, everything, the FSG, which is, is hard to find. And, uh, the cigars I talked about, they're all available at cup And for you, Joe, and for all your listeners today, we're going to give 10% off. If you use the code promo code stogie 10 at cup uh, on any, uh, any purchase you want to do cigars, you want to get some pipes, pipe tobacco, but check out some of these cigars in the top 10 cigars for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I noticed on your, uh, Facebook page, you guys are very active on social media, uh, if you go to stogiegeeks.com forward slash uh, 291, you'll have a link there to uh, cupofjoes.com. Uh, if you enter promo code stogie10, they'll give you 10% off. Uh, they'll, they'll ship it right right to your door. Uh, if you're ever in the area, check them out. Des- awesome destinational place to go. And then your link to your social media for Facebook's there. And and you would you were doing a top 10 and you were kind of releasing it a couple a day, or, or did you do one a day? Or did you do one, one a day? Yep. Every day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we, yeah, it was it was really cool, you know. And it, it's you know it's not like a lot of lists where it's just my opinion or Kathleen and I's opinion. It we put everything into this, you know. Uh, what the cost we do um, some stuff with our customers to get their feedback, say what they're buying, everything. And um, a lot of the scores, like I said, all the scores I rated and the FSG is in there as well are all in the top 10. Mm -hmm. But if you have a chance, go check out the videos, see what came out at number one. Um, And then, uh, yeah, if you're looking for any of those cigars, we have them both at Queensbury Cigar and Pipe. If you're in the area up in north of Saratoga or cupofjoes.com, we ship international, we ship everywhere. And if you spend over 100 bucks, it's free shipping. There you go. There you go. That's awesome. Um, if you want the show notes, again, stogiegeeks.com forward slash 291. I will put the full reviews and pictures of my sticks that I reviewed at stogiegeeks.com. Click on the stogie section. Those will be up uh, by Monday uh, sometime by noon Eastern Standard Time. I got some stuff I got to do uh, today to, to round up fr- uh, Friday. But th- those will be up there, and you can follow along there. Um we're going to keep it positive and not talk about the stick of the year. <laughs> How do you okay. like that? How do you like that for an ending? Is that is that a good ending? Or, or do, uh, I was like, what? Yeah, we, might what? Do, we might have to do a show about, uh, you know, cigar ratings if we uh, keep going. Uh, that would probably be uh, that would probably be my second to last show at Story Geeks because that would probably be my warning. <laughs> As a host, that'd be yeah, my, uh, I don't want to get you in trouble with a hot take, so... Mm. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, I was like, you know, because I don't know, like, I like the way that they release it because I, it kind of gets my mind going like, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah, I can see. I can see how that can make eight. I can see how that can make seven, six, you know, whatever. Sure. And then when you try to get to like one or two, you're like, what is it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I get excited about it. I get more excited about that than I do yeah. freaking IBCPR, right? And it's like, wow. Yeah. It's like, what is What is it? And then like you start going through, like, what do you think it's going to be? And like, yeah, you're, you're just like wow. And 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 it was like, it would be better off if we were saying, what do you think it's not gonna be? Because then we would yeah. have a chance of guessing some. Of, and and it's not just yeah. this year; it's been previous years too. You know? A lot of years, and it's like you said, you get you get that anticipation, and, and I know the customers do too. Mm. And then you see lists, and it's it, it, from my perspective, it's twofold, right? Right. Sometimes I go, oh, great. I'm not going to get asked for this every day and it's never, you know, it's, I'm never going to be, it's not even going to come in the zip code, let alone the store. Right, right, right. And I'm like, Oh God. And then sometimes I'm like, yeah, they're right. You know, it, it's, <coughs> mm-hmm. you never mm-hmm. know. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it at that. You know, it's yeah. just, sometimes you, you left shaking head. Sometimes you go, yeah, it makes sense. You know, but yeah. Hey, you know, everyone's got a different rating system. We rate, and that's why, I made my own list, you know, at the shop. It, it, it was Queensbury Cigar and Pipe. We said, you know what? We're tired of, you know, people asking us what the top ten is. I'm like, well, look above the humidor. There's our top ten. That's the cigars that we think that you ought to smoke and that you should enjoy because we believe they're the top ten cigars of the year. So if you're not happy with something, make your own path. That's what we did. That's a that's a very good point. In this day and age, who knows? Maybe there'll be a hundred more lists next year. You know? Probably. Who knows? Who knows? Well. Dan, thank you for joining us. If you want to see Dan's previous episode, it's up there already. StogieGeeks.com forward slash 291. Can't believe it's been a little bit on uh, just under a year that you've been on uh, there. That that This year has just fl- flown by for me in so many ways. It's been crazy. But 
Anyway, next week, tune in. We're announcing a new addition to the show. It's going to be awesome. Dan, thank you for joining us. Thanks, guys. See you soon. See ya. We'll see you next week.